Hey everybody, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Daily Dabble. Uh, I said in one of my previous videos I was gonna do both Afterbirth and Afterbirth Plus dailies for every day this week. But uh, the Afterbirth Plus daily today, on Tuesday, was rather uneventful. So I opted to leave it out. And today I'm only gonna have one video, and I think I'm gonna continue that. Um, I'm just gonna post the one video, the one daily that's more interesting, unless there's something dramatically different about them, and they both deserve to be shown off, but definitely the other one did not. So, in the Afterbirth normal daily, we're playing as Kane. I don't know where we're going. In the Afterbirth Plus daily, we were playing as Judas, and it went to the foot, and I could not find a way down. So let's see if anything's different here. All right, pretty run-of-the-mill start. We got paper clip as a trinket, so we can open chests without spending keys. We have the Lucky Foot, which is Kane's starting item. It's just plus one luck. And we picked up the Book of Sin. Uh, it's a four-room charge uh, spacebar item. And it gives us drops. Got a bomb before. Let's see, It can give you plenty of different stuff. We'll see it in action in a little bit. See what this pill does. One makes you small. All right, let's go to the boss. The Duke of Flies. This time it's the normal variant. I remember having to fight the champion one. This one doesn't spawn the double flies, as you can see. Sometimes he just kind of pushes those circling flies towards us, but it's not that big a deal. All right, wooden spoon is a speed up, I'll gladly take that. And just to make sure I didn't miss any tinted rocks on this floor, no, doesn't look like I did, we could search for the secret room. And there's a good chance it's over here. Yep. Alright, I think that's about everything I'm gonna do here now. I love these little animations in between the floors. I usually just skip them though. Hmm. Can't go through the curse room doors without compromising our devil deals. These guys blow up. I don't want to be anywhere near them when they do that. Blank room. Well, that could be, if you remember, that has a random rune effect. So we don't know what it does. Therefore, it's also kind of difficult to use it anywhere. Because I don't know whether it will give me a Gera, which will duplicate all the items in the room, or whether it will change the items in the store via a Perth row or anything. Oh, a sticky nickel. You have to bomb those off the floor. I think it's a pretty interesting concept. People seem to hate them, though. <laughs> I can kind of understand that. Okay, let's check out the treasure... Oh! I'll take that. It's gonna give us a short amount... of invulnerability and also hurt enemies while we're bumping into them. I'm trying to save the charge, though, because it takes quite a few rooms. 
to charge up. Alright, let's check out the boss. It's Little Horn. Now, I'm tempted to use the unicorn's horn here, but I'd rather save it for the Devil Room for a couple of reasons. Besides, this guy really isn't that big a deal. And there he goes. Oh, my damage up. Don't mind if I do. And we have a pretty nice set of items here. Guppy's hairball is by itself kind of pointless. It's just this little thing that follows us around. You can hurt enemies with it, but usually it doesn't work that well. So I mainly pick it up for the guppy transformation. As for sacrificial dagger, that's the thing circling us. It deals quite a bit of damage to enemies and if we just pop the unicorn's horn, then nothing can hurt us and we can stand next to the enemies and just kill them like that. Spiders. Just this place to check out. Spiders. Troll bombs! Alright, we're done here. Just pick that one up and we'll be on our way. Uh, except, I think, I should probably try to locate... You see, the secret room has to be adjacent to at least two rooms. If you look at the map on the top right, uh, it's got more of a possibility to turn up whenever there are several rooms connected to it. But this time it doesn't, so I'm guessing it's over here. No? And that leaves me with very few bombs. The starting floors are really difficult to find a treasure, uh, the secret room sin. So I think I'll just leave it at that. Our internal heart gives us a full heart. That's cool. Uh, these blue chargers are pretty much the worst. They have uh, quite a lot of health. Oftentimes you shoot at them and you try to dodge them when they push you next to a wall and then you just simply dodge into one of their bullets that they release when they die. You gotta be kinda of careful around them. Oh joy. Well, at least we got Envy in this room, so he'll probably kill himself of crap into this fire. But of course I managed to take a hit there like a idiot. Got a charge. And we gotta figure out where we wanna use it. Well, this looks like a prime spot because I don't like these guys. And we're gonna go back and pick up the battery that was there. Yoink. I'll just break these poops while I'm at it. We're gonna waste some time, but uh, we have a pretty good DPS right now. I'm feeling confident about my chances to make it to the boss rush in time. Of course I've said that before. Hmm. Oh, the secret room can't be there, so... This looks like it could be there. Yep. There are certain room types that just sort of immediately uh, they kind of t there are certain telltale signs of a secret room can't really go into detail because it's something that just comes from experience and ex uh, experimentation but I've talked about it with a couple of people and they all seem to agree that there are certain signs that would point you towards a secret. Alright, got a couple of things here. Got the champion belt, which is a damage up, and we have 
pogo bombs. Uh, I'm gonna have to think on that. And it's boss time. Well, we can just kill this guy like that. Hmm. Might as well. Oh, nice. It's brimstone time. Things just took a turn for the better. That looks like a secret. So, uh, I might have explained this before, but, uh, there are certain rules that apply to the secret room, so that's one way to help you find them. But the second thing is just basically intuition, at least for me. Alright, I'm gonna take the champion belt. And we've done everything on this floor. So we'll get a move on. I, my personal kind of a benchmark for making it past the... Uh, making it through the cave section is 10 minutes. I don't think we'll be able to make that. What with flooded caves appearing here and all, but... With Brimstone, I'm confident that everything's gonna be alright. Can't be a secret there, I was thinking about not spending a key here, but that's not gonna happen. Um, okay, that's kind of a tough one, really. Because I could use coins to re-roll. The machine, I could also use bombs. But coins are also useful in the store, so I... Oh. Oh! Hello there. That's gonna really increase our charge up time. But I think it might be worth it. Because Polyphemus makes your tears extremely powerful. I'm not sure, exactly sure what the modifier is. But it's a really hefty damage up. If we had normal tiers, they would also increase in size. Doesn't really work with Brimstone, but the damage increase is definitely there. The only problem is, if you can't bring down every enemy at once, then you have to deal with stragglers and it can take quite a bit of time. But just look at how quickly Greed died. I'm and I'm already glad that this is the daily... Uh, I'm already confident that this is the daily I'm gonna be uploading instead of the other one. That one kind of sucked. Well, I may as well take out the boss. Hi, Stain. Bye, Stain. And there goes Krampus. Oh, uh, he gave us the Krampus head. I don't really want that. Nor do I want another health up. I have no need for it. Possible secret here. No. Not there either. Got a couple of batteries there, so I... I could use the unicorn's horn a lot more. Ah, uh, there's a sacrifice room. Let's hope it's not the last one I've come across. And actually hope we can find some means of moving past the intended goal. 
All right, that's yet another possibility for a secret. Range down doesn't matter. Friends till the end. And I think that's it. There still is the super secret room, but... Okay, just one more try. Well, that was lucky. Pheromones. Paralysis. <laughs> I may as well just take that. Alright. Time to move on. Don't you push me away, Mom. I'll show you. Alright, well, we're 13 minutes in. So, I'm hoping I'm not gonna get a Curse of the Lost on either of these floors, because that would really slow me down. Oh man, what was that? I have no excuse for that one. Dead cat will give us nine lives, like it says right on the tin. But more importantly, it gives us a guppy piece. So we're just one short of a full-on guppy. Hmm. Could be a secret there. I'm still carrying the blank rune. In a vague hope that it might give me an AWAS effect, which allows me to get further down. Of course, that was also the case in the other daily today, and that didn't work out for me. Not interested. So many batteries. I guess we'll use one. And yet another one. Nothing really helpful here. I could use the blank rune. And hope it's a pair throw, but it's such a gamble, man. Okay, definitely using using the unicorn horn for this one. That's a tears up. Reduces our charge time, which is pretty nice. And not really interested in that. Ah, oh, now my. <laughs> Now my blank rune's over there. Okay, let's see, what do I want to do on this floor? I guess I would like to find some means of teleportation. Either a card or a pill. So that I can take care of the boss rush and still get out of the room. So I can keep on exploring. You know what, let's just do that. I'm gonna hold on to my blank rune for 
absolutely no reason. Sorry, Monstro. My brim is more powerful than yours. So that requires two keys to open, but I can't get in there without with a bomb, so we may as well check it out. Got even more money here. Not complaining, but really haven't had a proper chance to actually use all that money. No. That will uh, inflict a fear effect on enemies, which will make them very unpredictable. Let's see what the card is. The chariot? I don't think so. And even more money. Okay. I have plenty of time to explore, but like I said, I'd like to get out of the boss rush room after I'm done with it. Well, there's the boss room. Still got two minutes. I like to get rid of the red flames before approaching them fire and you from a distance and sometimes I just can't pay enough attention to them and they end up dealing damage to me. So what do we do now? Well for starters I think I'm gonna bomb these things. No cards. No cards whatsoever. No way of getting out of the room. And since that's the case, hmm. Well, I could re-roll that. If the blank rule weren't like that, but I have no guarantees of that. So once again, it's a complete gamble. So let's go kill mom and see how this goes. No devil room. So my last chance at getting past the intended goal is if something good turns up in this particular room. Gonna blow up these barrels. Sometimes I just walk past them when they explode while the fight is going on, so I like to reduce the chances of that happening. Well, let's use the blank rune here. Well, I'll be damned. It gave me an AWAS. That is incredible. Well, out of these two, I think I'm gonna take E. coli. It's not very useful, but uh, neither is the coin. Of course, now I also have to be careful not to run into that hole. Yikes, okay. That was dumb. Now normally I uh, actually go... windowed in this room. So I can see it better, but... I think I can handle myself without that. I'm holding on to the charge for the unicorn <laughs> unicorn's horn in case something like that happens and then I just won't use it anyway.
Oh, it's the frail. I actually better do this right now. I'm not sure what the boss there was, but he's dead now. Alright, time for this. Please die, please die, please die, please die before jumping. Thank you. Well, that's that. Still got one of those annoying things over there. And we have a Spelunker hat. And with that, I, well, well, we're going down. Folks, we found a way down. I'm so glad I carried that blank rune all the way up to this point. And you know, some people may have used it elsewhere, so they basically wasted it. Or it could be the case that they found something else to do with it. I can't see where the borrower guy is. I hate this. There you are. Yay, range up, completely useless. And that's a flight. Also gives us an eternal heart, I don't really care for that. Well, I'll be damned. First the AWAS and now this. Pretty awesome. The shovel creates a trap, uh, a trap, <sighs> a hole in the ground. So now we can get e even further down. We bypass the initial goal and we actually found a way to get even further. I like this daily. But it is something I I kind of have to uh, kind of have to address because I really wish if the game ended I I really hope the game would end on the intended goal for everyone. So stuff like this couldn't happen. I mean, I'm happy I can get further down, but it's just, I feel kind of cheap because some people can't. And that right there is a spoon bender. Makes our shots homing, and we'll see what that means in a few seconds time after I've thrown some money at this guy. You did that to yourself. All right, the Spelunker hat. Uh, it shows us what's in the next room and also shows us the locations of the secret room. So it's actually pretty cool like that. Uh, you couldn't get a proper glimpse of what the homing shot does because everything dies so fast, but it's a homing shot and with the brim, it's extremely powerful. like that. <laughs> That's a second dead cat. Oh, we have 18 lives after this. Don't mind if I do. 
Uh, I could have sworn that two dead cats would count as separate pickups. So I thought I would get guppy with that, but apparently not. Oh wait, there was another one. I was in too much of a rush to leave the room. Oh, that's more like it. Hmm. Well, there's a couple of books here and a key beggar. I clearly don't want either of the books. As I want to hold on to my shovel. Well, let's go see the boss. Oh, am I gonna get you for the other day? Couple of damage ops. I guess I'll take one. No, that's regenerative health. Don't want that. And we've uh, we've done everything on this floor, so moving right along. Blech. Okay. There are a few different ways this can go now. If there's a sacrifice room, we could use that to enter the dark room and bypass Sheol, which would be the next level normally. Failing that, we can just go down one of our trap doors. Which would also not force us to take damage from the sacrifice room spikes. Well, Goathead will show. will give us a devil room for certain after we beat a boss. So picking that up might be a good idea. That was close. I was actually afraid that might happen. Uh, the thing is, I... The Devil Room could appear even without picking that up. And if that's the case, then I would have picked it up for no reason, and it would give me a small item penalty. So, let's see what happens when we get here. Well, the Devil Room did not appear. So now we can go back. and actually pick up the goat head. Hmm. I don't think I want to sacrifice health just yet. Still want to see if there's any other reason for me to do that. Like the aforementioned sacrifice room. I'm kind of hoping there won't be one, so I don't have to make a choice between the shovel and that. Okay. So there isn't one. That's good news. Now, let's see... I guess I'll take the goat head. See 
what's in there. See, it opened up the devil room right for us. And uh, I'll actually take the empty vessel. Uh, the other item is Aperdon. It will give you a damage boost, but it also inflicts the fear effect, and I don't want that to happen. All right. The empty vessel, on the other hand, it's got an effect that I really like. It requires you to be at zero red hearts, which we are right now, thankfully. Two of clubs. And two of hearts. Did I not pick up the Polaroid? I... I... didn't? Oh right, I went into the boss rush without that because I thought I'd be back for it and... Yeah, that was my screw up. Perthro turned up a guppy's collar. Oh, that was fast. We don't really need another guppy item. Puberty. Uh, I don't think I want that. I'll just hold on to the two of clubs. And collect some soul hearts that I... Oh, hello there, beautiful. Now you can see why I was creating those trap holes all the time. We found this. That's Libra. It would shuffle, our, it would basically even, even out our stats. Picking it up right now would um, really lower our charge up time. But I don't need it, and I have Guppy's head. And you'll see what that does right now. Yeah. We're killing everything. That's Ipecac. I know for a fact that in Afterbirth Plus, it it's an explosive shot, basically. And in Afterbirth Plus, it isn't completely overridden by the Brimstone. I don't think that's the case here, but... Just to be on the safe side, I don't want to pick up anything that might hurt me right now. Maybe after I'm done with the floor, I might actually pick that up. Lemon party. That won't help us. Yeah, we really don't have to worry about anything at this juncture. Everything is going to be demolished. The sun will show us the entire map. Looks like there isn't a sacrifice room, so we cannot get any further down than this. Let's use a couple of bombs, get ourselves some soul hearts, and... Just finish this floor quickly.
Oh, see? I got a little bubble around me right now. That is the empty vessel. Sometimes it activates a shield. If you're at zero red hearts. And any defensive item on a daily is good. Now let's pick this up and finish this place. Okay, looks like we don't actually have the... Ipecac shot, which is good. Thank you. And that's it for this floor. That's it for this daily. I will simply pop the two of clubs here. And look at the scoreboard right now. Got a little bit of extra. Well, there we go. Um, pretty good daily, I'd say. It took a couple of unnecessary hits. But that was, that was a lot of fun. And it didn't take very long. It looks like my score was pretty good too, so... I'm happy with this. I'm not uploading the other one after this one. That was just a stupid slog. But yeah, I think that's it for today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Wednesday Daily. See you then.